Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about East Artificial Chromosome Vector. East Artificial Chromosome Vector is also called as a yak vector. Host of this vector is a yeast. It consists of a centromere site, telomerase, telomer site along with the origin of replication site and a selectable marker and multiple cloning site. East artificial chromosome is a human engineered DNA molecule uh, used to clone DNA sequence in yeast cells. It is also called as a yak and yak is an artificially constructed chromosome that contain centromere telomere region for the maintenance and stabilization and protect the end from degradation happened by the enzymes. It consists of an autonomous replicating sequence also called as a ARS. This element is required for the replication and preservation of yak in the yeast cells. ARS elements are thought to act as replication origin. Now in case of um, yak 3, it consists of a 11,400 base pair and um, it has a SUP4 gene, a suppressor tRNA gene which overcome the effect of ADE2 arch mutation and restore wild type activity resulting in colorless colonies. The host cell are also designed to have received TRP1 and URA3 alleles which are complemented by the corresponding TRP1 and URA3 allele in the vector, providing a selection system for identifying the cell containing yak vector, useful for cloning very large DNA segment or the fragment up to 500 KB, useful for very large DNA fragments. Now this yeast artificial chromosome or a vector is a linear plasmid vector clone large DNA segment up to um, 100 to 1400 KB occurring in two forms circular and linear circular which grow in bacteria whereas the linear form multiplies in the yeast cell. Uh, YAC3, PAYAC3 is the first YAC, back, no, YAC developed it contain um, our uh, ARS sequence for replication, sent one sequence for centromeric function, TRP1 and URA3 are two selectable markers and it is used for mapping complex eukaryotic chromosomes. Now how to construct yeast artificial chromosome vector? First the yak is built using initial uh, circular plasmid typically broken into two linear molecule using restriction enzyme. DNA ligase is used to ligate a sequence or a gene of interest between the two linear molecules forming a single large linear piece of DNA. East artificial chromosome are, linear, are special linear DNA vector that resemble normal yeast chromosome. Yak contain telomer that stabilize the chromosome end and the centromere that ensure chromosome partitioning between two daughter cell and uh, a selective marker. Yak vector can carry thousands, hundreds of thousands of base pair of foreign DNA. Disadvantages of yak, very fragile and prone to breakage, unstable with their foreign DNA insert often being deleted. Loss of entire yak, uh, entire yak during mitotic growth. Difficult to separate the yak from other host chromosome. The yield of DNA is not high. Chimerize, chimerism and uh, even chimerism has been seen. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.